My name is Mike Cope. I'm the CEO and the co-founder of SENS Research Foundation. Well, we've come to the close of this conference virtually. Um, everyone seems to have loved it. Are you delighted with the way it's gone? I'm absolutely delighted with the way it's gone. Uh, quite a few people have told me that it's one of the best conferences they've been to. And as a matter of fact, uh, you know, this conference predates SENS Foundation by several years. Uh, but um, SENS 4, SENS 5, and SENS 6 were all SENS Research Foundation managed. And every time we've done one so far, they sa they've always said best one ever. Uh, so the challenge is getting pretty high for SENS 7. So we're looking forward to that. So what's the purpose of a conference like this? Well, one of the things we want to do is we want to bring together some of the world's top gerontologists and regenerative medicine scientists to talk about a topic that's near and dear to us as an organization. What can we do about aging? Bringing together all these different skill sets. SENS Research Foundation has a particular point of view about what, to, what, sh what needs to happen there, and that is that we need to focus on a damage repair approach rather than chasing pathologies or trying to control metabolism. Um, so we try to design a suite of conferences around not just our technologies, but related technologies and research efforts that are going on around the world that'll speak to that, at least peripherally and most of them directly. Because the impression I've got is that a lot of the people here have been particularly delighted by the fact that they can meet with people either they've met before at this conference, um, but in, co in different fields, but very related fields so that they can compare notes. Yeah, there's quite a bit of that. I mean, th there's a, a large number of people here have a long history with this conference and have been coming to it. And the, and the conference itself has been kept at a limited size. Uh, it's sort of an uh, uh, elite environment and we keep everybody in a particular place. So the networking is very, very tight over the few days that you're in. The seminars are very aggressive. It's a very long day, uh, but everybody here is so motivated with respect to this topic that they really hang in there for all of it, and then they stay for the dinner and the networking afterwards. There's a lot of energy that goes into it. There's a real buzz. You can feel it. There's a buzz. As soon as it begins to start, the buzz starts. and. It's what's astonishing to me is that so many people, hundreds of people can get together and maintain that level of energy this long. It's Friday now and I'm literally exhausted. It's, 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 a, it's a long week, it's a lot of fun. It's very, very high energy. Well, just one last question on this uh, conference. What will you take away with you when you look back on it in the next sort of couple of months? Well, of course, one of the things I'm going to take away as, as the president and CEO of the foundation is I want to do successful branding. I want to make sure our message is out there. I want to make sure people are talking about our game. There are buzzwords we want this community to adopt, like preventative geriatrics, uh, rejuvenation biotechnologies, using regenerative medicine solutions for aging. And if I feel like those discussions are going well, and I feel like we're getting our shout outs on stage for SENS Research uh, Foundation being involved in many different things, and I get really happy. I'm happy about the branding, I'm happy about the opportunity to please this crew of astonishingly talented scientists, but it's also really worthwhile because it helps me talk about a mainstream message brand in a broader community, scientific and non-scientific. So we bring George Church in here, for instance. And George Church is a very powerful national player in the States. Uh, instrumental in um, helping activate the brain mapping uh, grand challenge with the Obama administration, for instance. And, um, you know, to have him here as a keynote, then have him say, I'm going to join the research advisory board, and then have him say a word or two about SENS Research Foundation while he's on stage, that carries with us a long time.